Hello, welcome back to our fourth and last video for the merry-go-round lesson. Um, all you need is your finished watercolor piece and your black Sharpie. I grabbed my thick black Sharpie. You have your smaller one from school. If you have a, um, a black Sharpie or even a black pen from home that has a small point, can you hand me your Sammy, your small point one? Sure. It's right there. Okay. So for instance, here's, here's a tiny, tiny tip that we have right here, okay? So if you have any black Sharpies that are, have the tiny tip at home or just a black pen that maybe an adult in your home uses in order to take notes or write things down or make grocery lists, grab that because we're gonna use the thin, thin uh, tip for the fine details. Otherwise, um, the, sh the, school, the, the Sharpie that the school gave out will be just fine. So before we get started, uh, I know we've done this a bunch of times where we come back to end the lesson by adding black Sharpie to trace over our um, pencil lines to make everything pop. I'm gonna have Sammy go over our uh, positive mindset to, um, to start our art lesson. So Sammy, can you give us some reminders? Always try your best. If you get frustrated, <laughs> frustrated take a deep breath. Um, Take a deep breath, count to ten, take a deep breath and try it again. Everyone's art will turn out differently. Your artwork is uniquely yours and art is not perfect. Yeah, so keep that in mind. I really want you to keep in mind that art is not perfect as you're tracing your lines. Um, and just have a good time and we're going to wrap it up, okay? So I have mine and mine is pretty much sharpie because I used a sharpie instead of pencil to draw for video number one. But I have a thicker sharpie here. Me too, because What's when that? we did the warm up. What's that? One, we did the warm-up. When, oh, you're right, it was video number two. In video number one, we did the warm-up, so I did use a pencil then. Uh, good catch on that, Sam. Okay, so I can take my black Sharpie, I can start anywhere. My suggestion is that you start from the top and go down, um, but your, your paper is dry. The black Sharpie dries pr fairly quickly when you're drawing, so um, you just go at your own pace and, um, trace over your pencil lines. Uh, Sammy, do you have any tips for your friends? I'm gonna start. Um, no, actually. No tips? No tips. Okay, so Sammy's gotten started. I'm just gonna do the, um, I'm gonna Sharpie the contour lines of the actual, uh, just the horse. So contour lines, remember, they are the lines that define the, um, the object that you're drawing, the outer lines, and then the detail lines are inside. And I'm gonna encourage you, depending on how fine your details are, I'm gonna encourage you to use a smaller or a thinner tip Sharpie for those detail lines, if you need to. You might find that um, you just need the black Sharpie for the uh, entire, um, this entire video. Yeah, the thin sharpie is just a just in case. It's a like, just in case, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Sammy, do you really think this video needs to be any more than a minute or two longer? Longer, yeah. You you think it needs to be a minute or two longer than where we are right now? Um, actually, <laughs> not really. So this video is technically. Just like a message out. Yeah, this is kind of a reminder out. Like, hey guys, come back, finish up. Because you guys have done this so many times now where you come in and you trace your lines using the, the black Sharpie. I know you guys know what you're doing. So, I might just stop it right here. What do you think, Sam? Uh, sure. <laughs> where are you? I Because I wanted to show them where a, a finished product. I left off. I'm, I mean, I'm not done yet, but... This is mine so far. Okay. So I let Sammy, before the lesson started, I let him just start going while I was setting up. And this is how far he's gotten. He's probably been working for about seven minutes. About like seven or eight minutes. Seven or eight minutes. And it'll maybe take him another two or three to wrap it up. So this is about a 10 to 15 minute process, I would say. Um, doing your best and um, making sure that you're not racing through it. So go ahead, Sammy. You can keep going. Okay, should I just end the video right here? I'm gonna be ending the video. I'm gonna give him directions. Okay, um, okay so we 
did not put our name on this at all. So now is the time to turn your piece over. Sammy, you don't have your name on the back, do you? I never, I never instructed anybody to put their I name on the back. I don't think so. Okay, so now is the time to turn it over and go ahead and write your name on the back, uh, preferably with pencil because um, uh, black Sharpie could bleed through. So I would prefer that you guys write your name in pencil. So go ahead and do that. When you're done sharpening and you have your name on the back, I want you to paper clip this finished piece to any other finished work that you have. And I need you to bring it back all your finished work. If you are in my Esther Marts class and you want a portfolio this year, I must have all your finished work uh, by April. Um, April is when I'm going to be doing them. Anything that tur gets turned in after April um, will not be able to be included. So. Go through the videos in Google Classroom and catch up on anything you haven't done. Um, finish this art up, paper clip it all together really neatly. Make sure your name is on the back of every single piece and um, then you can turn it in. I can't wait to see how uh, yours turned out and I uh, can't wait to put these art portfolios together for our, our finished products of the entire year. So I'm really proud of everyone's hard work, everyone's perseverance. Um, I'm, I've been having a good time. Sammy, have you been having a good time this year doing the art? Yeah, except, um, well, this year doing the art, yeah, but this year, like, school year? Mm, not much, like, being in school because it's on a screen. So you're not, yeah, you're, yeah you'd not rather be in quarantine. person. Yeah, the quarantining is hard. The staying at home is hard. Okay, so Sammy is finished. Here is his final product. Sammy, thank you for sharing. I hope this gives everyone some inspiration. I hope everyone's art turned out beautifully. Um, it has your own personal touch to it, and everybody's is going to be uniquely different. We will see you for the next video. Oh, oh, Sammy's going to write his name. Oh, thank you. Okay, here, look. Camera. Sammy. <laughs> All right, we will see you for the next art lesson.